Today I got a total of about three mystery boxes to open up on this YouTube channel. So to start with, we're going to do two of these Shumi, it's like around a $15 shipped mystery box of Funko Pops, two of them. We're also going to do this $250 Toy USA Funko Pop mystery box with guaranteed value of only 175, but there's some pretty big hits available in this mystery box run. But you already know, I got to do the appetizers first, you know, got to kind of, you know, get the taste buds going a little bit. We can't just jump into this bad boy. Got to start small, work your way up, you know, start quenching the appetite a little bit. So this one actually was kind of funny. I actually have a stack of Shumi mystery boxes over there that you cannot see out of the camera. There's probably honestly maybe 25 more, 20, 25 more boxes that uh, every time they sell these, I always buy one and then I kind of save them back, you know, for my appetizers for some of the bigger mystery boxes. And so I just grabbed random two this one was shipped back from Shumi way back on August 29th, 2019. So what, five months ago-ish, if I use my fingers correctly. And this one is actually more recent, December, no, November 25th, 2019, 11, not a 12. So both still factory sealed. And then, you know, this one's way back in August, but it's still factory sealed, never opened it up. So let's do this first. So with these, you're buying this with a hope that you get a little coupon in the with the pop that wins you an entire set of Funko Pops for totally free. I've won, I think, maybe three times, but I've also have purchased probably 50 of these boxes too. So I mean, the odds to winning is like 10%, I think, like eight to 10% odds of the total run. So I mean, the odds aren't great, but they're not bad so if you have a winner you will have a little like a little print off coupon code in the Funko Pop like a uh, protector box obviously if there is a coupon code I can't show it to you because that'll give away the coupon code but here we go first one let's see that's the back side right there yes so here we go back from August 2019 first one is our coupon code Nope. Nope. We got Warhammer 40,000. Have no idea what that is. This is Dark Angels Veteran. Never heard of Warhammer 40,000. It's just some kind of video game that I don't know anything about. Pretty much the only game I really play is uh, Call of Duty and occasionally Madden. So this I spent $15 shipped on. It's probably worth about, about 10 bucks. So here we go with the second one. This one was shipped back November 25th, 2019. Once again, same thing. We're going for that promo code to win an, an entire set of Funko Pops. Some of these sets have like seven and eight pops in them, you know, at 10 bucks a piece. I mean, you, you can get upwards of maybe like $80 in pops for 15 bucks. Fantastic deal if you, you know, if you win. Here we go, second one. And here we go. In three, try from the back of it. There, two, one. Promo code? Nope, no promo code. Daryl Philbin, Office Funko Pop. One of the best TV shows of all time, The Office. But, you know, pop's pretty common. Probably worth, you know, around 10 bucks or so. So those two I struck out did not get the promo code, but that's okay. What we're here for is for this one, correct? We want to see this one. That's what I want to see, is this big boy right here. So this was shipped December 26th, so it's pretty recent. This was like their post-Christmas, let me pull it up actually. Yes, this is called the Toy USA Funko Pop $250 Mystery Box of Four Pops Christmas Day Edition. So I guess I, I bought this on Christmas Day then. But there actually are some decent hits here. I mean, there were a total of 70 boxes, 250 bucks a box, guaranteed value of only 175 back, so you can lose money on this. 
One in four boxes has $250 plus, so you've got a 25% chance of getting at least your money back. And uh, there are some pretty big hits in this. I mean, you've got Tony Flocked, uh, The Martian, Metallic, Rocky Balboa. I mean, you've got a whole bunch of the, of the purple, pinkish, chrome Batmans. So here we go. You ready for this? 250 bucks. This actually does something upside down. Lots of times they put the peanuts on top. So hopefully I avoid having to deal with their peanuts. Those white foam packing peanuts, you know? I hate those things. They make such a huge mess. Okay, it looks like they just use bubble wrap this time. Good. So bubble wrap. Box. And it is double box as always. They always double box their higher end Funko Pop mystery boxes because I mean you spend 250 bucks on four pops. Them, as Toya say, they don't want anything to get damaged themselves. So actually, let's do this upside down. So I can't see the top of the boxes. So what we're going for is hopefully there's a hard stack in here because they only put hard stacks now on pops that are 200 bucks and up, usually. They used to do 100 bucks and up. Like back in 2018, but they stopped and they're just doing $200 and up. So we have a hard pop protector. Let's pull back the bubble wrap and then feel around for a stack. No stacks, so we did not get any of the big hits out of this one. I think they're all in soft protectors though. So looks like no commons at least. So I don't know which one's gonna be the best one. I'm just gonna pull them out one at a time and let's see what this box holds. First one. Oh, the back says Stan Lee. This is the newest one. Yep. This is the newest one that was the Walmart shared exclusive from the NYCC. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Not bad. So yeah, this is the shared exclusive available at Walmart. They have a price of $25. And I actually think they're still worth about 25 bucks because uh, whenever Walmart sold these online, I think I bought like 12 of them. And you know, for like, was it eight, 10 bucks a piece, 12 bucks a piece, whatever it was. And I sold a few. So that's the first one. Next. Oh, we got Elvira. Which one is this? Oh, nice. That's the newest one. Okay. Okay, this is actually a really good hit. This is the Queen of Halloween Elvira 2500 pieces limited edition, October 2019. And it's autographed by Elvira. That's actually a pretty nice hit. That is a nice hit. I'll take that in a heartbeat. Actually, this one, I don't know if I'll keep it or sell it because I collect signed Funko Pops. And uh, I don't have... I used to have an El Elvira signed Pop, but I had somebody who wanted to buy it. They offered me a lot more money than uh, I thought it was worth or what it was worth, so I sold it because I, mean, I couldn't turn it down. So... As of right now, I don't have anything signed. No, hold on. I have an Elvira 8x10 signed picture from a mystery box from an, a, a different company. I don't know. I'll decide on that. Let me see on uh, picture number one where this actually was on picture number one. Let's see. So it was on the top row. Well, because that was all the way four rows from the top. Actually, in this box, they had a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, they had a total of 10 of these in these boxes. Wow, they had 10 of them. They had, wow, so there's only 70 boxes. You had over 10%, like a 12% chance of actually getting out this one. But it's, it's a nice hit, though. It's a nice hit. That's the main hit now. The, these other two are going to be like common ones, but it's okay. Next one. Oh, is this the Iron Man light up? Yes, it is. I've actually never seen this one. This was, in the U.S., a Walgreens exclusive. My Walgreens down here, they never got it. Oh, that's kind of cool, though. I probably can't really see it very well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can. So, you, it lights up for, like, what, five seconds and it turns off. That's kind of cool, though. It's different. I've never seen this one. This would be one of the ones that would be kind of cool to get signed by uh, Robert Downey Jr., one that's kind of like that. It'd be kind of cool to get. But I don't think he ever does Comic-Cons for any kind of signings. The bag does have a little bit of like a little nick on it. But that's okay. Last one. Here we go. Number four. Oh, it's looking at me. Number four. 
back says sugar corn pops Funko Shop exclusive the big yellow okay so not bad I probably oh I mean I probably got about over I, I probably got my total value back what I paid but let's actually see values on these pops so big yellow Right now, it's booking at $21 on the Funko app. They have a value of $30 on that, and of course, that's incredibly too high. But yeah, this is worth $21. Iron Man with lights, PPG value of $20. They have $30 for some reason, so it looks like they're putting prices on some of their pops now, but yeah, that's way too high. It's only selling for $20 right now. It's worth $20, not $30. Next, we got the Stan Lee PPG of $24. They got $25 on it, so they were very close. So, I mean, it could have changed like a dollar or two since they packed this box. Those first three pops are worth $65. Then this one books the Elvira for $120 on PPG as unsigned, but autographed. So, actually, okay, so right now these four book a PPG $185. But autograph this, her autograph fee, I think, was what, $40? Is what she signed or what she charges so you could probably say these boxes are probably worth maybe around this whole box about 225 this was probably worth by about 150 160 as as autographed so i did not get all my money back i actually still lost about maybe 30 bucks but it wasn't a bad box i mean i got out some very nice you know funko pops and this actually is a pretty pretty sweet one so that's what we got and I'll do some more Funko Pop mystery boxes very soon. I'll see you next time. I'm out.